All right, so now we're going to look at moving the box. All right, in order to do that, we got to look at these three buttons first. So this, these three buttons show up if you click this button, and then you have move, rotate, and scale. The move allows you to move the cube, and we got Z, Y, and X. X is red, Y is green, and blue is Z. You can also look over here at the cheater, or the compass. It allows you to see the color next to the correlating X, Y, Z. So if I say, hey, move it in X, I mean it, move it this way. All right, now, I can also rotate the box. Control Z allows you to undo that. I could scale the box. If you hit N on the keyboard, you can now type in dimensions. Let's say I need to make the box in millimeters. This is in millimeters, by the way. How about 200 millimeters by 150 millimeters by 50 millimeters? There we go. We got a nice little shirt box. Now, if you knew how many millimeters, 200 millimeters really is, it isn't a whole lot. It's, uh, you know, roughly four or five inches um, is 200 millimeters. But it's really easy to go from millimeters to inches. We're just going to be using Google for it until you get naturally adept to it. Um, pretty soon you'll probably use millimeters just because it's a lot easier. There's no fractional to break up things. Um, I, I use millimeters for just about everything now, and I'm full-bred American. I love it. I'm very proud of using millimeters and centimeters. Okay, now, that's move, rotate, and scale. That's also W, E, and R on the keyboard, so you should write that down. So W is to move, E is to rotate, and R is the scale. Rotation can be handled um, over here too. Now let's say I wanted to rotate it this way. Rotate it this way. So you can think of these as toothpicks. Um, if you stick a toothpick into this cube from the top, that would be the Z axis, and if I wanted to spin it around that toothpick, that's how it works. And I'm just clicking and dragging right here with the left mouse button. Location is the location within the scene. So sometimes you can zero that out to find your cube. And that's about it. That is how to move it object-wise. All right, so now we're going to look at how to move it component-wise in the next video.